Okay, in this lesson, we're gonna go and add some code for our circle to react to audio. So first we're gonna start our reactive circle header file and we're gonna change this float to be for smoothed volume. So then we're gonna to need to go smooth volume times by 300 F just to be able to see it. And then we wanna change this one to the same two, so okay. So now that's done. We want to move into our of app dot h. So then, once we're in there, we're going to need to add a new function, and this is going to be called audio in and that uses of sound buffer and that is input and then that needs to be an override so then after our ofx scene manager we're going to need an of sound stream and this one is called scenes oh not scenes uh this one is called sound stream And then we are going to need two free vector floats. The first one is volume history. The second is left channel. And the third is right channel. Okay, and now we just need a few more ints. Oops, I got that. So the first int is buffer counter, and then the next is draw counter, and then float smoothed volume, and float scaled volume. Yep, and something seems, is this? Bring an error, where's our error from? Oops, so we are missing something. So, That looks like it worked. Not sure why, but let's go to OFAT CPP. And so this one here, let's go back up to our setup class. And we are going to need to change our circle effect. Let's get rid of our second test page because we don't need that anymore. Let's just remove the key to change to that. Yep, and let's change this text to circle effect. Oh no, let's let's go reactive circle effect, and then we want to change this one to smoothed volume. And then after that, we are going to need to set up. Um, where are we? Yep, down here. So let's set up initial values. So we're going to need int buffer size equals to 56 and then left channel dot assign buffer size 0, 0.0. .0 right channel dot assign buffer size 0, 0.0 um, and then buffer counter equals zero um, draw counter equals zero smoothed volume equals 0, 0.0 f and scaled volume equals 0.0 f 
And now let's initialize our settings object. So this is done with OF sound stream settings. And we're gonna call this one settings. And then after that, we're gonna need a set our default device. So I had a bit of issue with this on Mac OS X. So you might need to look up that or ask in the question section to, for an answer. So let's go auto devices sound stream dot get device list. So then if devices dot empty, then we will want to go settings. Sorry, if it's not empty, we want to go set in device devices and then want to go for our first device. And now that's done, we want to set up our sound stream settings. So we just want to set, um, sorry, set in listener. We want to set this to this settings dot sample rate to 44. 100 settings dot number of output channels to zero settings dot input channels to two settings dot buffer size to buffer size and sound stream dot set up to settings yep and then that's it for the setup class and let's do the update class so we are going to need to scale the volume first so scaled vol equals off of map smoothed Vol 0 0.0, 0 0.17, 0 0.0, 0 1.0. True. So it's just smoothing it out. And then we're going to need to push this to the back of volume history. So that's done by volume history slash push back scaled volume. Yep. And now that's done we will want to erase the volume value if it's too high. So we do if for uh, history dot size is greater than or equal to 400 for history dot erase for history dot begin Vo history Vo history dot begin plus one. Yep, so that's all for update. And now we need to go to our new audio in class. So we need to create that. So let's just copy this for formatting sake. Paste that here, void audio in um oh missed the of app audio in and then we want to set that to of sound buffer input and then we need to set values this is float curve equal 0, 0.0 and float num counted equals 0, 0.0. So now we need to go through sound buffer and roughly calculate our RMS. So we do this with four size underscore T uh, I 
equals zero. Uh, I is less than input dot get number of frames. And then we want to go minus two. Uh, whoops, minus two I plus plus here and we want to go left channel i and equals input uh, i times by two and then that is times by 0 0.5 so times 0 0.5 and then we want to do the same thing for the right channel so let's just copy that save time so we want to go right channel is i times by two plus just one instead to get the next one. And then we want to go curve o plus equals left channel i, whoops, not good. Uh, left channel i times by left channel i. Then let's do that again, but for the right channel. Yep, and then we want to add our number of counted to two as we've counted the left and right channel. So then once we have done that, we want to get the mean of RMS, which is done with uh, volume and mean load number counted and then the next one is curve volume equals the square root as we want to get the square root after this and then curve volume yep it's always good to add comments so let's add a comment get Square root of RMS. So now let's do a let's move the volume. So we got smoothed vol plus equal sorry star equal zero point nine three, and then smoothed vol plus equals zero point zero seven times by curve vol, and then we need it up our buffer counter by one yep so that should be all the code we need so let's try it out so it's building now and let's see we might have an error Do -do. yep so we have an error let's see where our error is expected a um so this should definitely not be equal or minus it should be equals so let's try that out. Yep, cool, it builds. So let's see if it works. No, it doesn't look like it works. Let's see what the issue is. Um. Let's check to make sure we're getting the right device. So let's restart that. The device is empty. Let's check our devices. So we got four devices and it looks like our, oh, there's two devices. Let's see, so it's not default. Oh, that one is the default input. So it should go for that one. Oops, sorry, it's going for the first device. So we are going to need different code for this. Let me see if I can find the code. So this will be get matching devices. Let's try get matching devices default. See what we get there. Let's 
So is our device it's empty? Oh, it is. Let's check quickly. Get matching devices. Let's just cut and I'll check what the issue is. Okay, and we're back. So I couldn't work out the issue with why it wasn't getting the default device. So let's just grab the fourth device in the list, I think it is. Let's just see if we can find our microphone. So it's always good to debug stuff because we can always see where the issue lies. So let's have a look here and our devices is size four and nope so we want number three so let's do no nope, we can't do that we have to stop and restart the program And now you can see it's reacting to my voice. So that looks pretty small, so let's make it a bit bigger. So we'll go into reactive circle and let's times that by 600.0F. And then let's take a look now. Yep, so now you can see that there. So we're gonna look at, this lesson's complete now. So in the next lesson, we're gonna look at adding another effect into this library. We'll just be adding another scene. And that's all for this lesson, thanks.